creating your brand kit in Canva. Now, if you're using Canva Pro or if you're trialing Canva Pro, I highly recommend taking some time to set up your brand kit. It is going to save you so much time with your content creation. So first things first, we log into our account and then we click on brand under tools on the left here. Now you can see I have a number of brand kits already set up, so you can set up multiple brand kits if you have multiple brands within your business or if you're working on multiple brands, if you have different clients, you might want to set them all up individually. But we're going to click on add new at the top right here. And we're going to add a new brand kit. I'm going to give it a name. And create. Great, so we work our way down from the top. So the first thing we want to do is upload our logos. Now I recommend uploading every version of your logo that you have, whether it is a brand mark, a full logo, um, it is reverse colored, all the different variations. So we're gonna click on this box here and we're gonna pick our logo. Now you can pick multiple logos by holding down the shift key, or if you need to go back in, just click on the right hand side here, add new. So once you have all of your logos uploaded, you'll notice that Canva has very helpfully pulled through the colors from our logo. So we can either click on the tick to keep those colors and that will form our brand color palette, or we can remove them and add them in manually. Now, if you know your hex codes for your colors, then that's great. You would just click on add new, and then, oh, sorry, we'd click on the plus button down here, and then we would type in the hex code. So let me grab my blue. I have BED 2D8. And that is my brand blue. I also use a slightly darker blue, which is, 1F577F. Cool, so just keep building out your color palette. Now you can create multiple color palettes and you can give each one a name. So I might call this Social Smarty. Cool. Now, if you don't know the hex code for your color palette, a really simple tool is to use Google Chrome install the eyedropper um, extension, which I'll put a link in the video description. Jump on your website. Once you click that wee eyedropper, you can select any color. See here it says pick color from web page. And we can go and select perhaps this purple. And what that's gonna do is it's going to give us the hex code. So we can see here, and I'll just copy that. I'm gonna paste that over into Canva. Great, and now I have that purple. So a little hack there, if you don't know hex codes, that's one way to do it. The last thing we need to do is our fonts. Now we have three different style of fonts that we can add in here. We have got our heading, our subheading, and our body style. So for me, my heading is called our playlist. So I'll just choose the font. So I click on the heading, click choose font, and then I'll type in to search from the list. And, oh, no, it's not that, it's playbook. Playfair, yeah, that's it, Playfair display, cool. So we click on that and we can see now that the heading has changed to our brand font. Now, your font may not be in Canva. In that case, you can upload it. So here we have add new, we would click on that and we would choose a font file. So you have to use a TTF or a TrueType font file to upload. Once it's uploaded, it will be in your Canva account and you can use it across all of your designs. So work your way through, update each of these. My next one here for subheadings is Laura and I use an italic. So I'm gonna click on the little italic there. And then my body style I use is this one here. Great, so that's my brand kit set up. Just takes a few minutes. It might take some time to pull together all of the information, but once it's set up, it's really gonna save you time. So now when we go home and we create a new design, so I might create an Instagram post. What you'll find is on the left-hand side here, if you scroll down, you will have all of your logos there. Really easy to use. So I've got all of my different variations there. So those are all nice and handy. The other thing is when I add some text, I've got my fonts. So these three fonts here are my brand fonts. So I literally just click on add heading, 
knowing that it is my brand font. And with our colors, if I click on text color, I have my brand colors sitting right there ready to use. So it makes content creation so quick and easy. Take some time, set it up. Let me know if you have any questions.